Welcome back to Travel Show Live. I'm very excited about this particular part of the world because, well, it's St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And, and the, have, you been, have you been, Aaron? I've not. Uh, have you ever seen one of those giant Kit Kats in the store? <laughs> you know, it has like, you know, 85 sticks to uh -huh, it. You know, you're uh -huh. like, who, did you have one of those earlier today? Because you're very excitable today. I don't know why, but Erin is very excited. It's a good show. I, I, I'm excited to have you here. Yeah, right? you're, you're always so bubbly. Good energy. You know? But I know you and I were talking about this. Mm -hmm. uh, the name, by the way, you need to go to this website, and I don't want to mess it up. It's uh, harlequinhotelsandresorts.com. Mm -hmm. All right, go there and follow along. Uh, Dave Ames is here. He's the CEO. Excellent. For heaven's sake, the boss is He's on the, the phone. All right, we got to. All right, everybody, class it up a little bit, okay? Together. How are you, sir? Welcome to the program. All right, Dave will be fine. I, I, I'm quite happy with Dave, no problem. <laughs> That's okay. Nice to speak to you. <laughs> nice to say, nice to have you here. Now, uh, this new property you guys built down there. This is uh, when does it open? Uh, we actually opened uh, on the first of July, two thousand and ten. Okay. So we're about sort of eight months away now. Okay. And we're kind of in the final final thrust, right? Yeah. We're, the actual accommodations have all been built. So we're just finishing off the marina, and we've got a number of restaurants on the beach and the beach bar around that area. So just finishing off tidying up and landscaping, things like that at the moment. Mm -hmm. And now the question I have, of course, is that, you know, look, uh, there's no big secret that the U.S. is having a, a little bit of a financial you know, instability mm, in terms of yeah. where we're going to be going with tourism in the future. And it, it's a little hard right now. You guys obviously can't just, you know, stop construction, but you could have if you wanted to. Yeah. When was it decided and, and why was it decided you were going to continue on with this project? I think it's a number of reasons, even though, I mean, the U.K. and Europe are suffering the same sort of problems you have in here in the States. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, what I found and what I'm a great believer in, and, and we're proving that, because the fact is that when times are hard, people still do have money to spend. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, is they then take a little bit more time and effort to decide where they're going to go and where they're going to go on holiday and where they want to stay, the sort of things they want to uh, receive when they get on holiday. Mm -hmm. And I think our success is the fact that what is people have, uh, have realized that you know, most people are fed up with just going to a, a hotel, getting up in the morning, sit on the beach, going to have the same uh, meal in the same restaurant each night, mm -hmm. go to bed and do the same thing the next day. Mm -hmm. And what we've found, by putting together what we've put together, uh, people actually love uh, the excitement of what we're putting together, and it's drawing people's attention to what we're doing. And because we're giving them a choice and a service and standard that's not available in the Caribbean... Well, I was, was going to ask you about that, because, I mean... I, I, it sounds a little, you know, corny if I say <laughs> you're kind of re, redefining five-star luxury. Yeah. What does that mean exactly? Uh, I'll be honest with you. My, my personal opinion, I've traveled the world in hotels and holidays all over the world. Um, and one of the downsides, to be honest with you, in the Caribbean mm -hmm. is the fact that when I go to on holiday to Dubai or the, or the Far East, you know, you, go, you stay in a five-star hotel there, and then you come to the Caribbean, what they call a five-star, in my view, is more like a two- or three-star. Mm -hmm. The service service is not good, the facilities aren't very good, the quality of the room they're not very good, and that's for a number of reasons. So what we've believed to do and what we're aiming to do is build a five-star service and standard that you, you see more like in the, the Middle East or the Far East. And, and you know what, and it comes down to a price point too here. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm fine with a, a five-star, you know, look, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. exactly. At the same time, it doesn't have to be so... Uh, exorbitant that it's cost prohibitive. Right. It can that, still, it, it, as long as you're still getting value, mm. there's nothing wrong with having a, a higher rate as long as it's not, you know, through That's the That's exactly right. It's so what we're saying just now about the economic climates today. People realize that, you know, hey, you, you, you don't have to pay that much to get this sort of, that much more money to get this sort of quality. Mm -hmm. and, and our prices, when you start looking at them and comparing them, we're not charging more than anybody else. And we're actually, for your money, we're giving you better value because of the, the facilities that we're offering. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, that being said, how many rooms are we talking about down here? Uh, what we're looking at is 369 rooms. Okay. And one of the differences we've, we've put together down here, another issue that I've always had as being a family man, is when you take away three or four children like I have, what happens is you're putting it in a big room, basically sharing a couple of beds in one big room. Right. Well, we're building up to four-bedroom villas 
which are part of the hotel. So if you're going away with a couple of friends or you're going to uh, go with your four children, hey, you can all have a bedroom each. Mm. You or know, your so entourage. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, I got a little bit like, I've got, to um, go, you know. Yeah. I mean, I know you've got 12 restaurants down there, but I'm going to need my, my driver has to go. The uh, of course. My two. Bring the whole crowd. Uh, why, yeah, you might as well. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's a very interesting, uh, <laughs> it's a very interesting thought, though, that, it, you know, you don't have to just be stuffed into a, that's exactly a why. one big room with the pull-out couch. And although yeah. it's fun, but... You know, really. We don't do pull out couches, you see, because if like, I've got seven grandchildren, when I take my grandchildren away with us and my, with my children, oh my hey, we, we can all have a bedroom each. You That's know, let's have let's have a little bit of privacy at the end of the day. Yeah, really. You brought a, a whole litter along with you, I think. <laughs> it feels like that as yeah, well. Right. Uh, the nice part about this is that uh, people may not realize, uh, from major gateway cities, you're talking about mm. like a four hour flight from from New York. Um, yeah. And you're flying into where? Yeah, at the moment, what it is, what people got to remember, and this, this is the great part of it, if I may say, as I said earlier, this is the first resort on, on the island of St. Vincent, and the key to that is the fact, although it has an international airport, it only takes small planes, mm -hmm. so what we're having to do is that at the moment, what we're doing, you fly into St. Lucia, mm -hmm. and the great thing about St. Lucia, it's, it's only about 20 miles from St. Vincent. So what we're doing, we're giving people a choice. We've either taken a small pl hop over plane 20 minutes onto the island of St. Vincent, okay. or we've got a luxury boat that will take them within an hour from the airport direct right onto our beach, right into our resort. I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And I, the great I, I, thing about that, it gives people, as soon as you get off the, the plane, you're actually on holiday. We're going to have rum punches on the plane. There'll be reggae playing on the boat being played. And people feel they're already on holiday as soon as they get off the plane. Yeah. Okay, well, let me just get my calendar out here now. We just had the. Uh, Sign me up. I, we just uh, gave birth to our first daughter. She's 11 weeks old. By July, yeah, she'll be ready. So she'll we'll, ready we'll bring go. the whole family. That down. sounds good. Well, on the opening day, we'll have some big p p parties going on down there. So you'd be more than welcome. How did you know I like to attend parties? Have you been talking to people? <laughs> well, well, you, you know, I've got my, my I've got my contacts as well. You know. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you doing this. The, the website. Uh, I want to make sure I, I do it right. Harlequin Hotels and Resorts, right? That's that's exactly right. Okay. That's pretty easy to find. We can yeah. we can book now um, for, for this property, right? Yeah, we are. We're just getting out. We had a big launch last week in in London. The world it's called the World Travel Mart, mm -hmm. where all the big tour operators from around the world and people like Expedia, uh, Sunwing from Canada, all the large tour operators, British Airways, Virgin, and from the UK. Everyone loves the concept we're putting together. They see the difference in it. Yeah. And the great thing is, as the, as we build up and as we get closer to opening, nearly every tour operator majorly throughout the world will be offering our result. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Dave, thanks for doing this. You know, you have a standing invitation to come back anytime you wish. Would you That's really kind of you. I look forward to it. All right. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Pretty Thank you. Pretty easy to remember. All right. We'll be back here in just a couple of minutes. That sounds like a great property. Really? That's going to be fun. we got to go hang out down there. Sign it up. We'll be back.